Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and another range of frequency or frequencies that are specific that I want to talk to you about. 25 megahertz and also uh, the top part and beginning of 26 megahertz. And the reason why is something interesting. So 25 megahertz for a simple reason. The uh, reactivation a few years ago of WWV on 25 megahertz. A lot of people still don't know that they're back. They had left this frequency um, in the 70s. And in, I guess, somewhere around 2010, they reactivated 25 megahertz. But they did warn us that it's an experimental thing. It's experimental frequency. So that basically at any time, it could be shut down. So when propagation is good, and here it's mostly in the winter that I hear it, uh, 25 megahertz is WWV, and it's kind of nice to hear it on that frequency. So that's one frequency to note. But on, I'd say uh, starting about 25800, put your radio, if you have a desktop receiver that has that capability, put your radio in FM narrow. Why? Because from 25800, to 26 so here up to about 26 200 there are studio to transmitter links and as recently as just a few months ago I've seen posts of people hearing some of those uh, there are less than there used to be I remember WFLA and 25870 in the 90s it was great there's yet less than used to be Sometimes they are still there, but used only for special events, for example. They are in FM mode, and they are FM or AM or even TV stations that need simply a link between the studio and the transmitter site. So they use a low-power FM transmitter to link that audio. And that's what we hear when propagation works well on these frequency range. They are mostly scattered in the, like I said, 25800 to 26200 range. That's where you'll want to tune. Now, you're gonna say, well, I got a small portable radio, I don't have FM mode, so why, you know, I'm not interested. Well, you should. There's a little trick for, most radios do not have FM on shortwave. And, you know what? It's not a problem. FM, can be still heard using the AM mode by tuning just to the side of it. So if you are hearing something kind of distorted, just tune a couple of kilohertz off and you'll see that you'll be able to, you know, it's not gonna be the best audio or it's not gonna be super clear, but it's good enough that you actually can hear and listen to the, the, the broadcast. You'll understand what they're saying. So on AM and a little portable receiver, most portable receivers do not have FM on the shortwave bands. Uh, just use AM mode and tune a couple of kilohertz off. It's going to work fine. And this is going to let you actually um, tune in to these broadcasts. So when propagation, and once again, I told you a little trick, 27025 Super Bowl channel, if there's activity there. Well, you know what? If you hear something there, Go back here and, and try to find one of those FM uh, transmitters uh, from some of those stations. And there are listings online if you're wondering what it is. Sometimes you can find the information uh, by just Googling, you know, 25, 870 FM. I'm hearing something. Um, the last time I heard something was on 25910 and was a station in uh, Texas. And, of course, don't forget to tune around and check out from time to time the uh, experimental WWV transmission on 25 megahertz. It's also a great little thing to listen to. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.